This is a David and Goliath moment. That is how Father Michael Loza describes the Russian invasion of Ukraine as he stands here offering prayer at St. Joseph's Ukrainian Catholic Church, a prayer of resilience for the people of Ukraine and thanks to the many local community members who have been coming in with donations. In less than a week, the church has received medical supplies and essentials in the hundreds. Father Loza says the news of the war brought shock to the community. Our parish community um, have close relatives, including parents and grandparents uh, in Ukraine. Uh, many members of our community travel annually to visit. Um, many visitors from Ukraine come to our community, so very close ties. And you feel so helpless being so far away to be, provide any kind of support. And that helpless feeling is certainly true for Elizabeth Kachishin. She is a retired emergency nurse who went on two medical missions to Ukraine with the Canada-Ukraine Foundation back in 2015 and 2016. Kachishin says she's still connected with many of the members she's worked with and helped to this day. So these people, when all of this happened, their faces were flashing in my mind and they were, were, we were worried about them. I messaged them. They kept saying, we're okay. They said, the prayer that we have all over the world, the prayer is uplifting us spiritually. We know and we have said to them, supplies are coming. Donations the church is asking for include first aid kits, medicine, hospital supplies, personal hygiene products, and especially baby essentials. Not only is the church collecting donations, meanwhile, Father Loza says they are also holding a prayer service every evening at 7. The people who are watching here uh, are in such desperate need of their own uh, sense of hope that all will be well. For Kachishin, prayer and seeing the generosity of Haltonians is what keeps her hope alive. Everyone knows the Ukrainian flag. Our, our country, the blue is the sky and the yellow is the wheat. Many of us are so fearful at the loss of life, at the blood that will be shed, is shed. We're just so grateful to our communities, to our, our networks, to the facilities, the organizations that every Ukrainian, every Canadian has worked at for everything that's on the media that everybody's doing, everybody is just coming together.